So Sue Sir stole. My question is, so what? What's up, guys? It's your boy, Ted Tiz, one-third of the partners. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all of those good things. Um, Real quick, y'all know I'm not, I'm a huge battle rap fan, a long-time battle rap fan. Um, I've been listening since um, probably the early 2000s um, when they first started putting uh, battle rap on TV. Um, definitely as soon as they had the, uh, the battles from, what was it? Uh, Fight Club that used to come on um, MTV. I definitely fell down the internet rabbit hole after that and started finding all of these Philly DVDs and Smack DVDs and old battles that I had missed. And so I've been down with Battle Rap for a minute. Um, I don't consider myself necessarily an expert or anything. You know, I'm not a Jay Black or, or, or one of those, but I definitely do know what I'm talking about when it comes to Battle Rap. I've been around it long enough. Um, I used to rap myself long, long, long time ago in my young days. Uh, but I wanted to talk about this Sue Surf situation. Um, if you don't know, uh, Sue Surf is being accused of one of his, um, pretty much most of the entire verse, uh, one of his entire rounds being stolen from a, a rapper from Philly named Quilly, um, who had a Funk Master Flex, I think it was, freestyle. Um, that was really dope. Um, and I'll be honest, the consensus pretty much has Surf as actually stealing uh it wasn't word for word necessarily but it was close enough of a of a theft that it you, you if you heard both verses side by side you definitely can tell that sue pretty much just took that verse and then just rearranged certain small things to line it up for cortez but it is what it is he stole um as an mc as a person who loves hip-hop um as a person who respects the craft of battle rap and what these mcs have to do to get ready for battles and perform at their highest level i definitely think it was lame for him to steal um and i don't think that he's a, a rapper who's doesn't have the talent to just do what he needs to do without stealing like he's he's completed battles before where he was at a super high level and he you know dominated his opponents without having to do that so i'm not sure what was going on that caused him to stoop to that level um but let's just get it out of the way. Stealing the battle rap is not okay. It it really does take away take away from the craft. Um, it takes away from people's hard work. Plagiarism in any art form is trash. Um, and it should be people who do it should be held accountable. But with that being said, battle rap community. Sue Sir stole bars. So what? The amount of incredulous, uh, cringeworthy, just plain weird, sick, uh, pitiful things that I've seen battle rap, I've seen us let people get away with. And they're still in the community. They're still getting booked weekly. They're still uh, rapping, blogging, whatever the case may be. They're still doing their thing. So we're going to act like this really means that much. If you're wondering why Sue Surf isn't protesting more than what he is or why he's giving us these BS excuses about it, that is why it's us. Do we really care that much? With all that, if if an announcement comes out right now for known 12 that Sue Surf is battling whoever, are we not going to line up to hit those caffeine streams, to hit that app, to bat them tickets? So what are we really saying here at the end of the day? Um, let's stop with the fake shock and the mock outrage. And let's go ahead and get back to what we really care about. Did Sue serve win versus Cortez? Let's just talk about that. Regardless if he stole or not, we've seen battle rappers take balls before. and we, They're still getting booked. We still regard them in a high level. So what are we going to do about it? It's been your boy Tiz, one-third of the partners. Just getting you something to think about. Oh.